It's been a gorgeous day today. Most of us seeing mostly sunny skies and taking a look at your Fort Bank sky view of Mount Sterling. You're seeing those beautiful blue skies, a temperature of 81 degrees. The dew point, not too bad. It's at 64 degrees, mid 60s though. Still feels a little sticky, but hey, we'll take it compared to dew points in the 70s. And dew points will go down a little bit more as we head into your Monday, so not quite as muggy but they're generally going to be between the lower to mid 60s, so not dropping into the 50s. But here's a look at satellite and radar. As I mentioned, a good portion of the viewing area staying dry, seeing the sunshine today, but notice there have been some isolated pockets of some showers and storms, nothing severe, but perhaps a little bit on the stronger side. We've been seeing some more moderate to heavier rain showers, and you can see some of those lightning strikes. This activity is all that's lingering so far around the viewing area, and that's going to continue to push out of eastern Kentucky. It is moving to the south and east. So again, you might run into some pockets of more moderate to heavier rain showers. You're probably going to hear some lightning strikes, maybe even some gustier winds. But all this activity will continue to calm down as we head through the remainder of the evening. So it'll be great to maybe grill out or go for a walk, even hit up the pool. All right, taking a look at those temperatures. Definitely pool worthy, I think. We're currently sitting at 84 degrees here in Lexington. It's 85 in Frankfurt, 81 in Danville, as well as Richmond, 82 for London, 81 in Jackson, Harlan. You are sitting at 79 degrees. Here in Lexington, we've hit a high of 85 degrees, one degree below the average of 86 degrees, so not too bad. Taking a look at your hourly planner, 7 o'clock, we'll see temperatures a little bit closer to 82 degrees, so hovering into the lower 80s, still warm and sunny, maybe an isolated shower lingering, mainly in eastern Kentucky, but as I mentioned, great to get outside still. By 9 o'clock, we'll see temperatures around 78 degrees, mostly clear skies, staying dry, still dry as we head toward 11 o'clock with a temperature of 71 degrees, calm conditions, great to go out and check out that Percy Admin meteor shower. Tonight we'll see a low of 64 degrees, mostly clear skies, but we will see some patchy fog. Now dew points are still in the 60s and even some locations around 70 degrees, so we still have plenty of moisture in the air that will be causing some patchy fog. So if you're out driving tonight, be mindful of that and tomorrow morning. But as I mentioned, with clearing skies, great to see the Perseid meteor shower. In fact, it does peak tonight and you do want to look a little bit more to the north northeast, anywhere between about 10 p.m. till pre-dawn. You want to make sure that you are away from lights to be able to see that. Tomorrow, we'll see a mix of sun and clouds, a high of 84 degrees. Could still see a chance for an isolated shower. Not quite as muggy, but as I mentioned, dew points still generally in the 60s. We like it when they get a little closer to the 50s, but hey, we'll take it over the 70s. But a great day tomorrow for the pool. We'll start out with temperatures around 11 o'clock, around 78 degrees, 82 by 2 o'clock, 84 by 5. But as we head into the afternoon, we could see some of those spotty showers. Now, we have been seeing some of the shower and storm activity today thanks to an area of low pressure. You can see that activity moving around that low. That will start to move more off to the east, but we could still see some spotty activity with daytime heating into the afternoon. But overall, we will have high pressure building in. So VJ, not a washout tomorrow. I think still great weather to get outside. Tuesday, maybe an isolated sprinkle, but Monday, Tuesday, mainly staying dry. But as we head into mid to late week, we will start to see those rain chances and thunderstorm chances going up just a little bit.